as is to launch the website so that we can proceed further. To do that, let's go back to the code and here let's create. Go to the design tab and then click on new sequence. The sequence is to launch taste site. can separate them by underscore as a good practice create it will create a new XAML for me where I can write the code to launch the website as we know to launch any website we have an activity called open browser here is the activity to this I can try passing this particular URL I'm copying it and under double quotes and pasting it. Let me decide the browser that I want to use. The browser should be IE, leaving behind the default settings. I'm saving this and if I just do that, right, I'm closing this instance and let me run it once. Run file. So it is able to launch the website. able to launch the website but what if there are any network issues and it fails to do that let's handle that too here let me use retry scope retry scope is an activity which can allow us to retry some particular actions till a condition is met let's place this particular thing inside the actions Okay, and if I see there are the options, it is asking for us, it is asking the number of retries to do. Retry it for two times if it fails, and the interval should be 10 seconds. Or that matter, you can put 5 seconds. Okay, what it will do is it will try to, as a first thing it will try to do, is it will try to execute this action block. It will do execute this particular activity open browser once that is done it will come to conditions in conditions we have to place an activity called element exists this activity what it will do it will, it will try to find some element on the screen if it finds that here is a selector the selector will be given right here if I just try to indicate something on the screen let's take this taste dot the logo basically okay so it will try to come here it will check for this particular element on the screen this selector for that and then the timeout is 30 seconds for now you can increase it or decrease it based on your requirement and if it exists so it will wait for this till this time is reached and after that it will give out the input the input you are not needed to give any input because it will anyway tell this particular activity if it's true or it's false it will give you true if this exists or it will give you false if it doesn't if it's false then it will repeat the particular actions it will go above this block and will try to execute this particular action again so we have built the launch taste site XAML.